Yeah, we, we still have eight years to go. We had our 92nd birthday just a few days ago. Okay. Well, um, I, I could follow your um, example, Mia and Cyril, to, to put our charter members on. But the only problem is that there were no women allowed in Rotary 100 years ago, so it wouldn't have the same effect. <laughs> you know, but uh, Photoshop works miracles. Okay. <laughs> Today I'm not wearing the, the, the correct outfits, obviously, you know, we wore uh, black ties uh, and we could also merge like in the okay. crowd. <laughs> I still wouldn't get it right being a female. <laughs> Look, ma make a photo uh, black and white, uh, don some wigs. <laughs> no, but obviously you can see how the the world changed, uh, improved in the correct direction. Uh, I have to, uh, prvo, Velimire, dobrodošao, Rotary Club Zagreb. Uh, everybody, uh, we have a past president of Rotary Club Zagreb, Velimir and... Dobrodošao. Drago mi je. Dobrodošao. Hvala. Večkom bomo še počekali, no, da se nas še malo zbore. Običajnih, običajnih pet minut, pa bomo pa začeli. Bog par več gostov, kot kar naših članov, ne. To je prav zanimivo, ne. Edi, ti bi mogel še naše poklicati. Gleda, cela Evropa, pa cel svet ve, da naši se bolj počas. Friends from our club, they're usually a bit late, so they decide to pop in the last moment. So demand is coming high. See. Our youngest member who just joined, uh, Tit Plevnik, uh, he's an avid sailor, um, like some of us others. Um, Tit, Janes, ciao. Zdraven. Zdraven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ti ne se ne vidva, no, Janes. Ja. Že že dvanaestu. Ja, pogrešam te, no. <laughs> You know, but, uh, our members, <clears throat> you know, have much closer to come, so they can uh, just walk in at the last moment. Um, and I would like to greet uh, the iPad from Apple Technik, uh, past president of Rotary Club, uh, Klagenfurt Werthersee, Victor Oberloyer. Greetings to Victor. Hello, Victor. Herzlich willkommen. Most likely he did it. Greet, I will greet him again, so he, he didn't, uh, he's still checking his audio settings. Tony Khan, um, Kiyokak just is getting in. <laughs> we need him. We need him badly, yes. Hello, Victor. Uh, welcome in the very international group today, uh, reaching from Israel to South Africa to the United States, Zagreb, Novisad. Right. <laughs> Tony Cohn here. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. Hello. 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 Tony, uh, welcome. Just uh, that. Uh, I present you to Marco Golop, president and uh, Rotary Club this year, president and Anthony, welcome in. Thank, thanks. I'm glad to meet you all. I'm especially glad because a good part of my family lives in Iowa. It was a nice surprise when Eddie announced this, uh, this lecture today. I just, fin I just finished reading the history of Kiyokok. <laughs> it, did it, it didn't take too long, did it? <laughs> um, it did not, but uh, it was interesting. It was interesting. Yeah. 
Well, you'll learn more here shortly. Yeah. Vogo, lepo zdravo, eh. Igor. Igor tukaj. Zdravo, Vogo. Čau, čau. Dobar večer, good evening to all. We are slowly gathering. Uh, we have this usual five minutes for that everybody could join. Okay. Okay. I would like to start uh, the meeting for tonight. Hope I would meet all our guests. It's a very special feeling to, to have so many of you colleagues from all over the world at this uh, a real uh, rotary spirit with all the bad things this epidemics uh, brought, but the change that we had uh, online and we have now this opportunity uh, to join all from different continents is a good side of it. Um, and I'm really glad that we had this opportunity. But um, for our foreign guests, let me excuse first, uh, as it's uh, a habit in our club, we should go through some club issues. Uh, I believe that's going to be And then we uh, ask John to, 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 give us, uh, to give us a lecture that we are all awaiting so eagerly. Uh, in April, be Šel je na par zadev, ki smo jih imeli, uh, oziroma so se pojavili v pošti v teku tega tedna. Ena je glede novih članov. Jaz sem zelo vesel, da so predlogi in verjamem, da so tu predlogi tudi dobri. Se pa strinjam z pripombami nekaterih članov in sicer, da bi treba poslati kot to zaveriti se. Jaz mi, da preden odločamo, bi bilo vsem prav, a ne, da botri, Kolega Vucka so se glih presrečala na sprehodo, da poroča v donaciji, nas ter je on osebno dal Svetozemskemu klubu, o katerem smo govorili pred časem. Prosim, no. Dobro večer vsem, tudi gostom, ne samo našim prijateljem našega kluba. 4. marca je bila po Zoomu humanitarna aukcija, ki je prejel Rotary Club Bar Črna Gora. To je bil global vrej. Na tej akciji sva se delovala s Cirilom, našim, in na konc sva darovala v imenu kluba 300 evrov. Včeri pa smo dobili tudi mail, se nam zahvaljujejo, nam tudi to zahvala, oziroma moraj kar mail poslali našim članom, ali pa če jo pokažem, to zahvala Rotary kluba v baru za to sodelovanje, mogoče se bo boljši videli pol na mailu. In poravnal sem račun za 300 evrov, sem nakazal tudi Rotary klubu v bar preko banke, Ljubljanske in Erste banke. Tako da to je, to glede aukcije je zaključeno, nas pa še vedno vabijo, da bi se še kdaj slišali po Zoomu za sodelovanje z njihovim klubom, vkolikar imamo tak veselje do tega, da bi se še kdaj z njimi slišali. Predvsem bi pa lahko jih upozoril, da bi oni tudi prišli na naše dobrodelne prireditve, Mi bi pa s predhodnim obvestitom, da bi imeli malo ne časa, da bi se še bolje pripravili za kakšno tako humanitarno akcijo in bi sodelovali z njimi. Toliko, to je najlepša hvala. Hvala. Maša, kdo kšno poročilo? Tega tedna. 
Jaz sem eno prezenco, Marko. Ja, prosim. Don sem bil na obisku pri našem Janez v Grilu, v novem mestu, v mestu, ki ima edino slovensko v grbu kralja in sem se počutil kraljevsko. Ker me je krasno postregil, razkazal čudovito cerko in je bil en zelo lep sončen dopovdan in zato sem mu tudi zelo, zelo hvaležen. Tako da, Janez, hvala ti, si prav dobesedno prepelo sonce v te korona cajte. Ceril, pol prezence je moje potem. Zmenjeno, Marko piši. Bomo rekel, tani vsake eno dobi. Dobro, še kakšno prezence. Jaz imam še dve prezence za prijavlj. Tomaš, izvoli. Marko. Ja, jaz sem se udeležil predavanja Rotary kluba Nike in si se je predaval Milan Hosta o dihanju in to je bilo eno strašno zanimivo predavanje, ker bi mogoče koristil tudi kdaj nam, kako pomembno je dihanje, pa kako si lahko z dihanjem pomagamo. Moram priznati, da ne bi zanimivo bilo to, da začetka sem bil, mislim, da skor edini, če ne res edini moški, proti koncu se je nas je pa nabrali, tako da sem se počutil, da smo normalna družba. Ta druga, pa seveda sem v imenu našega kluba pozdravil. Ta druga prezenca je pa ta pondelk, ki sem se pa udeležil srečanja Rotary kluba Ljubljana Triglov, ki smo bil boter. Tudi njih sem lepo pozdravil v našem imenu. Je bilo pa tudi zelo zanimivo predavanje, ki moram reči, mislim, da je od naših šlavnov noben ni prisostvoval. Je bilo pa to pravzaprav, kako ena posebna oblika podpiranja start-upov. Skratka, podjetniški pristop in moram reči, da je bilo za mene zelo zanimivo, da mi je bilo kar žal, da nisem 30 let mlajši. Tako da toliko bi bilo za zdele. Hvala, Tomaš. Še kdo? Če ne, bi šli na vajeno tvrtko. Now we are going to switch English. Uh, we just uh, went through uh, regular activities and now with uh, passed uh, the stage to Tony Con. Uh, oh, be a lecture. Tony, please. Uh, excuse me, President, I have to say a few more introductionary words. Excuse me, excuse me, I apologize. Uh, uh, so before we start today's lecture, I would like to present today's speakers because they are speaking now today from different continents. And also that everybody will have a sense uh, who is listening, members from different clubs. I will ask just a few words to say. First, Anthony Kahn from Rotary Club Kikuk, Iowa, just say a few words. Well, um, other than what I bring up, I just uh, been a Rotarian for about uh, 10 years now. And uh, I stumbled upon these letters uh, here about four or five years ago. And uh, by chance, Dr. Repman will meet shortly. And it's been the, uh, one of the greatest journeys of my life. And uh, to meet uh, Rotarians like yourself has uh, just been the highlight. Thank you. And uh, now we move to South Africa. We have Grace Van Ziel, Rotarian from Rotary Club Johannesburg, President. Please, Grace, just a few words. Hi, thank you very much for having me. Yeah, and thank you, Tony and Yogi, for including me in this wonderful presentation. And I met Tony and Yogi um, through the Peace Pipe Letters. And I must just tell you that Besides the amazing history that you're going to hear about tonight, I've made two wonderful friends and other friends as well, like Dieter and Gabe and, and everyone around the world. So thank you, Tony and, and Yogi, for the Peace Pipe Letters. Thank you, Grace. Uh, and now we move to Israel. With us is Dieter Zilowski, president of Rotary Club Jerusalem. Thank you very much. It's great to be with you. Uh, we were all shocked by coronavirus and the limitations, but 
the side effect, the bonus of it is really, we became a really truly international organization. Today, we had our rotary meeting at the Jerusalem Club. And again, we had participants, three participants from the United States, one member who is living in Thailand, another member who is living in Germany, and it's truly international. Just briefly to myself, I joined Rotary 22 years ago in Jakarta, Indonesia, where I was working for 20 years. And my best friend over there is a Yugoslavian, a Serb who lives in Bali, Alexander Podkonyak, maybe some of them know him. Great guys, and I always was very fond of your countries. Good to see you. Thank you, Dieter. And also that everybody will have a sense who is listening this lecture. We have a really amazing uh, palette of clubs present today. And I have to uh, uh, ask just few participants to speak on their behalf. Uh, from Slovenia, one of the uh, Peace Pipe Letter Sanders is Rotary Club Maribor. Just a few words, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Nina or, or Anton from Rotary Club Maribor. Um, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, greetings from Maribor. It's, um, I'm Nina. That's my, my dad, um, Aloisi. Uh, he's my godfather. Uh, they've been charged as first club in Slovenia. Um, and uh, this year, it, they, they had uh, 19 years of uh, first uh, charter of first club in Slovenia. So that's a, a long history, a long. Uh, um, uh, it's uh, funny um, that um, though uh, there are some many health problems in the world, we can meet uh, in such a great groups uh, as today. So uh, we are enjoying uh, your company and we hope to, to hear more about uh, um, you and your story and so on. Um, um, that's, that's a short term. Uh, otherwise, my father is a charter member of Rotary Club Maribor. I'm also a charter member of Rotary Club, uh, Club uh, Maribor uh, Lind, and um, we are uh, members of a rot Rotary class uh, for ages, and we've been to Hamburg when this uh, event has started, or joining. Uh, fantastic, um, fantastic, Nina. Heard about thank your, you. uh, yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. now I, I have a few more greetings to held here, uh, to be held from Croatia, our, uh, Sponsor club from 1931. We have a Rotary Club Zagreb, and I ask Velimir to say a few words. Uh, evo, ja ću kratko samo na hrvatskom. Rotary Club Zagreb je startao 1929. godine do 1941. i ponovno 1900 991. smo se ponovno osnovali. Znači, imamo tradiciju vrlo dugo. Drago nam je da smo osnovali do sada 35 klubova, znači, uključujući Ljubljanu i Maribor, a u novije povijesti smo osnovali 19 klubova, a znači, Ostatak od 16 klubova smo osnovali između dva rata u one kraljevine. Inače smo humanitarne pomoći, do sada smo skupili oko 15 miliona eura, jer za vrijeme rata od Rotary Internationala smo dobili 5 miliona eura i otprilike 10 miliona eura humanitarne pomoći od klubova iz cijelog svijeta. Super. Hvala, Velimir. To je sve. Hvala. Puno hvala. We move now also across the border. We have uh, uh, from Austria, Rotary Club Werterze. Victor, please, few words. Klagenfurt. Victor, uh, uh, muted. You are muted, but we see you speaking very vividly. Uh, 
thank you, Victor. We have Klagenfurt. So, but we move now to Italy. We have a Rotary Club Trieste North. Fluvio, please say a few words. Trieste. In italiano, due parole. Grazie per l'iniziativa. Eh, veramente onorato di essere in questo, in questo con virtuale internazionale. Grazie a voi per, questa, per questo spirito che avete, veramente importante. Grazie. Uh, grazie, Fluvio. Thank you. And uh, we go even more south, or south and uh, we have from Serbia, I'm sure we have Rotary Club Niš. I'm sure. V Vladimir, please, few words from Serbia. Hello again. Uh, regards from Novi Sad. Uh, it's really a pleasure to be uh, tonight here with you. And uh, I'm looking forward to hear these stories about uh, past times. And uh, I hope we together will uh, make this uh, future even better. Thank you again. Thank you. Uh, I'm told we have a, also a, a guest from India. Maybe I missed it, so please speak up. Otherwise, I have to grant another word to our past government, governor, uh, in, uh, Rizwana. Yes, a very good uh, greetings to all of you. This is uh, Rotarian Rizwana Zamindar. I'm the club secretary of RC Bharuch, that's in Gujarat, India. And um, I would thank uh, President and Anthony for inviting me for this meeting. He's the president of uh, Kyoko Club. Uh, well, at present, we've got it's around 12, 11.30 in India. So PM, quite late in the night, but I'm happy to meet all of you all. And uh, we have uh, proposed a few projects uh, with uh, the Kyoko Club. Uh, looking forward to meeting all of you all along for the Peace Pipe Initiative reunion. Thank you. And, uh, and for uh, just uh, the last one, to just say hello, we have a past governor from Slovenia, Anton Konchnik, who was the first to be in contact with Peace Pipe Letters uh, speakers, and please, Anton. Thank you very much. I'm also very happy to be with you, especially with uh, the beginners of this initiative, Anthony or Tony Kohn, because, and of course, Yogi uh, Repman. Uh, we met uh, actually during the uh, convention uh, of Rotary International in Hamburg two years ago. And we made a beautiful, wonderful trip by bus from Hamburg to Flensburg, uh, to Flensburg, sorry, where uh, Yogi was born. He made a really nice welcome speech from his balcony and also a party, a garden party behind the, the, the house. And we were not wearing the masks. We were talking <laughs> freely and friendly and afterwards, we made a trip over the border because his native town, this Flensburg, is very close to the border between Germany and Denmark. And on the other side, there is the summer residence of the Danish queen, Margaret II, I think. And, <clears throat> uh, and we paid the visit to the castle. And uh, after a while, we had to go back to the bus. And uh, since I was a few minutes late, I apologized myself and I said, dear, dear Rotarians, I'm sorry to be a little bit late, but I met the Danish queen in front of the castle. We were talking and she invited me for a dinner. <laughs> I said, your majesty, I would very like to be with you, but I'm terribly sorry. <clears throat> I would rather stay with my Rotarian friends on the bus. <laughs> thank you. Thank it was you, a Anthony. joke, a holiday. But what is important from this 
trip is that we were trying to show how the Rotarians from so many different countries like we are today, we are also on the bus from, even from, uh, from uh, New Zealand, from USA, from Slovenia, if you want to say, and so on, <clears throat> that what is important or the basic, uh, let's say, starting point for every peace uh, movement is that people know each other. Only the people that don't know other people hate them. You just ask, why do you hate this, let's say, minority? I don't know them. They are so strange. I, I don't care. <clears throat> but if you know the people personally, like we Rotarians do, try actually in, in every project, then we are peaceful, then we are friendly, and this is a, a, a really a, an achievement of Rotary that I will never forget, and you will never forget it also. Thank you. Thank you, Anton. And I think this is very well uh, ba done base for our talk. And I give a word to Tony to start the lecture. <clears throat> okay, thank you very much. Um, Anton, that was good to see and hear you again. We, we actually sat on the bus during the uh, trip back to Flinsburg. We sat and talked. We, uh, we discovered we had the same name and we were wearing the same hat. And uh, things have gone uh, well ever since. So today we're here to tell you the story that concerns two of Rotary's essential basic values, mutual understanding among the people of the world and a commitment to supporting world peace. The story begins 90 years ago, 1931. The third Rotary Convention outside the United States took place in Vienna, six years after the first Austrian club had been founded in that city. Rotarians from around the world arrived in the country's capital among the speakers at the convention were numerous important personalities of that period. Among them, textile manufacturer, Max Weinmann, a founding member of the Munich Rotary Club, who was honored by Rotary International for his service. Also, Viscount Robert Cecil of Britain, who would later granted the Nobel Prize for Peace, 1937. Among the 4,300 attendees, at the Vienna Conference was 33-year-old American William Jewett Fulton, a member of the Rotary Club of Keokuk, Iowa. This small town of 10,000 inhabitants on the Mississippi River is named after a positive-minded Indian chieftain. Unlike his peers, Chief Keokuk did not go on the warpath against white Americans, who in the 19th century had penetrated ever further into the lands of the indigenous peoples. Instead, he chose a path of negotiation and the quest for peaceful solutions. Following the convention, Vienna 1931, Fulton and his wife traveled for several weeks throughout Europe where his impressions were impacted by economic, social, and political tensions of that time in many ways similar to those occurring in the US. Dark clouds were forming in Europe and throughout the world. The global economic crisis of 1929 had entered its third year with no sign of improvement. Nations imposed punitive tariff duties for imported goods as a means of helping the home economy, banking systems were collapsing, nationalism was on the rise. When Fulton returned to Keokuk, Iowa at the Mississippi, he reported to his fellow club members on the disquieting mood he had sensed during his trip in Europe. And the Keokuk club decided to issue a warning about the pervading general unrest of the day. And so 
This small club from Keokuk, Iowa, set out in December 1931 to send a message by letter to all non-English speaking Rotary clubs worldwide outside the United States. Over 500 letters were individually typed, addressed and sent by mail. Here is the letter sent to the Rotary Club of Paris. Among other things, the letter stated, following the old Indian custom, we invite the Rotary Club of Paris to smoke the pipe of peace with us in spirit as our expression of international goodwill and fellowship. We would be most happy to receive a reply from you as it is our sincere desire to establish and perpetuate Rotary contacts and friendships outside of our country. Of the 504 letters Fulton sent, he received a total of 201 responses from 44 different countries. By chance, these neatly filed away letters were found in a bank safe a few years ago, having almost been disposed of by the bank. Yogi and I res res rescued this treasure in 2016 and published it in book form in June 2019. It is extremely fascinating to study these letters against the background of their historical context and at the same time to find, great to find a great deal that bears on our own time. For the past 18 months, we have presented programs over a hundred times from these letters titled the Peace Pipe Letters, Nationalism, Then and Now, focusing on the, on the responding German clubs and the Rotarians mentioned in those letters. Events of the past year, that being COVID, George Floyd and the 45th US president refusing to concede in, in a constitutional crisis that followed has made this subject ever so more, more meaningful. We would much enjoy returning to present that program, but today we would like to focus on the Rotary Clubs of the Northern Balkans. And excuse me if I am using that description too liberally. More specifically, those clubs centered around Ljubljana when one reads the responses received back from these clubs, you can feel the excitement and enthusiasm for Rotary, the enjoyment of the fellowship and desire to uphold Rotary, Rotary values. It is evident then as it is evident today. Here's a perfect example. The, Rot the response from the Rotary Club of Graz, Austria, signed by Club Secretary Anton Weichard. Weichard was happy to report that Rotary Club Graz was the only club in their district to actually smoke the peace pipe. This was done at the, Christmas, at the club Christmas party. He promises a picture of the pre club president, Walter Kless, with a peace pipe in hand in the next newsletter. He continues that the whole event brought on feelings of fellowship and goodwill to all. And there, as promised, is the newsletter with President Kless sitting in the, with the pipe as Secretary Weichards is standing next to him. It is difficult to see the actual pipe, but it appears to be adorned with US flags. Also listed on the letterhead is the previous year club president, Dr. Arnold Wittick. Dr. Wittick was a renowned orthopedic surgeon and founder of the Graz Accident Hospital. During the First World War, he was dedicated to treating disabled vets. In World War II, he was selfless in his service to treat all war victims. This is a response from Rotary Club of Klagenfurt, signed by Club Secretary Herman Medili, owner of F. Medili Construction Company. Medili was designated as a master builder and several stately buildings in Klagenfurt were built by his firm. As directed by the Nazi party, both Klagenfurt and Graz ended their relationship with Rotary in 1936. The writer of the peace pipe letter from Rotary Club Ljubljana was Dr. Ivan Slokar, chairman of the International Service Committee. He later came president of the club 1933-34 and district governor, governor of District 77 in year 1938-39, Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Make a note of the date. 
he took time to write it on the 24th of December, 1931, on Christmas Eve, day before Christmas Day. Dr. Ivan Sloker has amazing story to tell even today. He was a flight inventor and patent holder of first helicopter. His patent for twin rotor helicopter prototype number 480753 was filed on 5th of May 1911 in Vienna. It was good design, but he couldn't find an investor to make it. It was too radical of idea of that for that time. The patent of Dr. Ivan Sloker remained forgotten until 1936. It was a shock for the world to witness the German Reich Focke Wolf 61, the first helicopter to land vertically inside Olympic Stadium in Berlin during the 1936 Summer Olympics. Newspaper spread the news of many Rotarian friends of Ivan Sloker recognized his stolen patent in Focke Wolf 61 Nazi helicopter. Many Rotarians also recognized Dr. Ivan St uh, Sloker's stolen patent, among them also very famous Rotarian painter Božidar Jakac noticed and even in 1936, he painted his fellow Rotarian, Ivan Sloker, flying his first helicopter. The picture also reveals who is blowing the wind to snatch the helicopter. Mussolini and Hitler marked in red on the picture. We move to the letter of Rotary Club Maribor. Rotary Club Maribor was the first Slovenian club established in 1930s. In 1936, just after Berlin Olympic Games, gymnasist Leon Stuckel, Olympic gold medalist and athlete, joined the club. He had won two gold medals and the Amsterdam uh, Olympic Games 1932 and a silver medal on rings at the Berlin Olympics 1936. In 1996, Leon Stuckel visited Olympic Games in Atlanta as a guest of honor. Mm -hmm. At 90 years old, he was recognized as the oldest living Olympic gold medalist. When introduced at the opening ceremony in the company of the select group of legendary but much younger stars of world sport and before a global television audience and a packed Olympic stadium, Leon Stuckel hoped nimbly and usefully onto the main stage in the middle of the stadium to uh, reunite applause. It was the moment that he became an international personality, a star almost 100 years old and 60 years after his gold medal performance in Amsterdam. By the letter of Rotary Club Zagreb, we have to present world famous modern sculptor and leading, leading artistic personality, Ivan Mistrovic. He was a member of Rotary Club Zagreb and the Rotarian magazine wrote an article about him in October 1929 edition presenting his works in Chicago, where Rotarian Conve Convention was being held. Mestrovich, finest monumental sculpture are Native Americans, Chicago Indians, the Bowman and Spearman standing at Michigan Avenue entrance of Grand Park. An unusual aspect of the sculptures is that both figures are missing their weapons. The bow and arrow and the spear are missing to emphasize peace. From the response of Rotary Club Veresden, Club President Arthur Krasinski eloquently writes, it is our firm belief that Rotary shows the only possible way out of our dreadful present state of the world 
caused by greed and fundamental misunderstanding. Once we really get to know each other, we are bound to find out that mankind has one dominant common interest, its cultural progress, and that we can attain it only by our sincere cooperation. Eight responses were received from Italian clubs out of 25 letters sent to that country. This was approaching 10 years since the Black Shirts March on Rome and Mussolini's rise to power. Of these eight responses, four give full-throated endorsements to Dolce Mussolini and the fascist movement. Specifically, from the Rotary Club in Novara, Club President Alfredo Periani writes, we feel much honored that Italy's flag has been so well received by your club, and we are particularly grateful to the giver of it, who has remembered our country, which by means of also of, of the Rotary Club, Rotarian Clubs, shows vital strength and eternal youth, which has its foundation in Rome. Youth made new again by our resurrection in fascism. From the Rotary Club of Genoa, the club president writes, Italian Rotary, Rotarians, desire, greatest desire is harmony with their government and the entire nation, which struggles courageously in, in this aim, especially since the coming of fascism, which makes a peace of work and of harmony among the of people, the fundamental principle of its policy. Moving on to the Rotary Club of Milano, the club president writes, Italy, the modern Italy of, of Victorio Emmanuel and Benito Mussolini, is a living, breathing, and above all, working nation of 43 million souls, wholeheartedly and entirely devoted to the program, program of peace, progress, and prosperity. And finally, from the Rotary Club of Savona, the club president writes, it isn't a mystery to you, I suppose, that the Italy of today is in perfect harmony with your country and the rest of the nations in regards to disarmament for the security of, for the security of peace for the world and wish to cooperate with them to main such. Here's a response from, from the Rotary Club of Trieste, signed by club president. Thankfully, there was no celebration for fascism here. This three page letter shows the other side of the coin. It was written by Arthur Renier from the Rotary Club of Charleroi in Belgium, a country bordering Germany. After thanking the Rotary Club in Keokuk for its initiative, the club president states, quote, no need to tell you that our district is greatly affected by present conditions of trade. We have thousands and thousands of unemployed, and it is with a certain amount of anxiety that we see next winter season approach when so many will suffer from the fact that there will not be much money left in the house to buy the necessary food. The letters of Rotary Club Trieste, Rotary Club Klagenfurt and the Rotary Club Ljubljana are put side by side. As friends from Italy, Austria and Slovenia, that time Kingdom of Yugoslavia, because in 1938, the Rotarian magazine reported about them. Despite World War storm was closing, they met just before the storm to prove Rotarian friendship. We recovered original picture. This intercity meeting took place in October 1937 in Villach, Austria, bordering city to Slovenia and Italy. Present were members of Rotary Club Willich, Willich, Villach, Rotary Club Ljubljana, Rotary Club Kran, Rotary Club Klagenfurt and Rotary Club Trieste, who met the last time before Second World War. Among sitting are three district past governor, William Krejci, Ivan Slokar and General Luigi Piccone, past president of Rotary Club Trieste. His signature is on Rotary Club Trieste peace pipe letter. He is sitting as sixth from the right. District 
77, Kingdom of Yugoslavia was one of the last Rotary strongholds in Europe. Here is Yugoslav Rotar magazine, April 1940 edition. In this article from Rotary World around the world are reports of sinister news. In Germany, from 1937, Rotary is banned. In Austria, from 1938, Rotary is banned and all 11 clubs are dissolved. We haven't received any news from Spain Rotarians. Many French Rotarians are mobilized. No certain news about Maurice Dupree, former Rotary president. In Czechoslovakia, all Rotary, Rotary clubs are dissolved. War hit District 77 on 6th of April, 1941. Here are some wartime reports by Franz Heinricher, member of Rotary Club Ljubljana about Rotarian spirit during World War II. Letter was sent to Rotary International in 1946. Some inspirational quotes from the letter. In Ljubljana, 1941, few weeks after occupation, members of Rotary Club Ljubljana met in various secret places in groups of four persons. We met illegally every Wednesday. The frequency was 50 to 70 percent. As much as was possible, we had lessons and gathered contributions for the Society of Crippled Children. After 1943, the meetings were held more cautiously, always well frequented. After Tito came to power on 90, May 1945, every activity of Rotary Club Ljubljana ceased. In 1990, after 45 years of Rotary darkness, Rotary fire was reignited in Rotary Club Ljubljana, as seen on this charter. The Rotary Club Ljubljana was the first Rotary Club in that time Yugoslavia and the third in that time Eastern Europe. Responses from all over the world were mostly typed and a few were handwritten on sometimes very beautifully designed letterheads. On the left is an example of the Rotary Club of Jafle, Sweden, and on the right, a typed weekly minutes of the Rotary Club of Turin. And a very proud moment from me below, a stylish letterhead from my home club, the Rotary Club of Johannesburg in South Africa. I am Grace Van Sale, and I'm the current centennial president of the Rotary Club of Johannesburg, we are an Edward C. Fisher Club from the Rotary Club of Pittsburgh, formed on the 25th of April, 1921. We officially chartered on the 1st of July, 1921, which could possibly be blamed on snail mail, which is probably a problem that all these peace pipe letters had. Yes, you heard right. In 12 days time, we will be turning a whole hundred years since the day we formed our club. The Rotary Club of Johannesburg is not only the first um, Rotary Club in South Africa, but also the first Rotary Club on the continent of Africa. This is the response from the Rotary Club of Johannesburg signed by the de then secretary, Hubert Hoskin. And what's remarkable about this letter is that Hubert Hoskin was actually our founding president as well. Hubert Hoskin was a first generation South Africa as his parents immigrated from Cornwall, England to Peter Maritzburg in the 1870s. Writing for the absent club president, Hubert Hoskin displays the Rotarian values of international understanding and fellowship with these club members. Though Rotary had only reached the Balkans a few years earlier, the enthusiasm for Rotary can easily be seen in the responses received back from the 201 letters. On the left side is the response of the Rotary Club of Kolin in the Czech Republic. The text says, 
At our last meeting, we smoked the peace pipe with you, only symbolically, of course, since we did not have a pipe of that sort on hand. Instead, we drank a glass of Pilsner to your health. And finally, on the right is the response of the Rotary Club of Orison Haza in Hungary with an illustration celebrating the peace pipe offering. Moin, moin, Dieter. Hallo, Dieter. Yeah, then, then mute, Dieter. I was still muted. Sorry, didn't notice. <laughs> I'm Dieter Ziolkowski Karen, the president of the Rotary Club of Jerusalem, the only English language club in Israel. My club was chartered on March 11th in 1929, so it's now 92 years old, sponsored by the Rotary Club of Cairo, nearly 20 years before Israel was founded. Like Johannesburg, we too are a James Wheeler Davidson club. Um, <clears throat> Here is the response from our then club president, Dr. U. James R. Ewing, dated 23rd December 1931. Dr. R. Ewing was a well-respected surgeon and a devout Christian. He was born and schooled in England and served in the British Army during World War I. In 1920, he became a medical missionary and took a post in Jerusalem where he served for 12 years. He served as superintendent of the English Mission Hospital, as well as honorary consulting physician to the government of Palestine. He returned to England in 1934. Dr. Ewing expressed the Rotarian, Rotarian spirit very well here. And this is what he wrote. We have all sorts in our club, about 10 nationalities, at least five different languages represented. And we all find in Rotary a common meeting ground in spite of differences of race, religion, and tongue. We have strong Zionists and equally strong anti-Zionistic Arabs in the club, Britishers, Americans, and Germans, etc. And they all meet amicably as Rotarians although acutely disagreeing on most other points. Dr. Ewing continues, one of my warmest friends is a German surgeon who as a combatant officer faced the trenches of La Bassie in which I was serving. So you will see that we are ourselves a sort of living peace, pipe of peace, always being smoked. As has already been mentioned, 201 responses from all over the world arrived in Keokuk, which means approximately 40% of the clubs that received letters responded to the suggestion to symbolically smoke the peace pipe together. Letters came from Copenhagen and Calcutta, Kyoto and Kiho. Wellington, Winnipeg, Montevideo, and Madras, as well as Hawaii and Alaska, which at that time were not yet part of the United States. Letters from Cuba and China arrived as well, countries in which Rotary no longer has a role to play. It is extremely interesting to study these letters, to consider the makeup of the world in 1931, and to follow the fascinating lives of Rotarians of that period. <coughs> In conclusion, I recommend to you a publication titled The Peace Pipe Letters, a truly stimulating book. All the letters from the 1931-32 project 
are pictured and it's 330 pages. The volume is published by a printing on demand service in this www.lulu.com or is available through you. Who, uh, we have a uh, store of books in Flensburg. So the Europeans, uh, we can deliver very easily. Cost is 30 US dollars. I think that's 25 euros if I remember right. All money from sales are placed into non-tax account, which Rotarian Peace Projects are financed. We have now reached the end of our peace pipe story in our presentation, but before we return you to your president, we would like to give you a brief update because the story that began 90 years ago is continuing today. In 2019, the Rotary Club of Keokuk, Iowa wrote yet another letter to every club that received the original 1931 letter from Iowa. We wanted once again, specifically at the Rotary Convention in Hamburg 2019, to smoke the peace pipe in common. And so the peace pipe letters brought together in that city 135 Rotarians from 68 Rotary clubs out of 21 countries. All these new Rotarian friends traveled in two large buses to our spacious German apartment in Flensburg, border town to Denmark, Anton spoke about. In this picture, I welcome our international guests in the front garden of our dwelling in the old city at four o'clock p.m. with the first highball, bourbon and Schweppes ginger ale. Please check if you can see Dieter and Anton, um, our happy and, um, well, our happy drinking buddies. The book party for the Peace Pipe Letters to Friends, 1931, 2021 could begin. Our enthusiastic Rotary Festival lasted until well into the night. With the Peace Pipe Letters and Rotary under Nazi rule as background, Tony and I are organizing an international Rotary work conference on the subject of dealing with the past, democracies under pressure, how to shape the future, this Rotary Conference will take place as a hybrid event attendance video in October 2021, Indian summer in Northfield, Minnesota, 40 miles south of Minneapolis. All of you guys are wholeheartedly invited to attend. Discussion points at the conference will concern how to find appropriate ways of dealing with the dark chapters of history. 400 years of slavery in the New World USA will be discussed as well as Germany's confrontation with the Holocaust, Shoah. Today, we sense once again that our fundamental values of our communal life are under threat in the form of nationalism, populism, and homophobia. The commitment to peace and mutual understanding among the peoples remains a constant challenge and a perpetual task for Rotarians. Let us never forget Chief Keokuk and his peace pipe. Thank you very much. And with that, we're glad to take any questions as time permit. And um, we'll hand it back to the club, to your club president. Thank you very much uh, to all of the speakers. It was uh, phenomenal. Uh, so long and uh, really congratulate uh, everybody and thank you for the effort. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, uh, it's maybe time that we need a spirit of rotary. I hope it's it, it's not as urgent as it was in thirty one, but there, there, there are many examples in the world where the goodwill of people will be needed and the goodwill of Rotarians, especially in their environments. It really touched me, and I must say, uh, for all the great work you are doing. Uh, maybe just uh, to use my privilege as a, as a president, uh, uh, maybe just to ask you, this initiative has been going on uh, for some time, so I believe. Uh, how many clubs have you visited uh, already? 
and I'm not sure if that was for me. I oh, please start. It keeps cutting out. Hello. Well, uh, I, I got the question, Tony. Um, Marco, the the king of the Rotary Club, uh, the president, um, asked how many clubs did we touch? And um, well, it started kind of in America and in Germany um, in uh, late 2019. But then in 2020, and um, Tony and I traveled the last time in February 2020, a day's trip to Eastern Iowa, Davenport um, area. And uh, that's where we gave the last talk um, in attendance. But since then it was mushrooming and literally all over the world, um, we had the pleasure. Uh, Grace felt sorry for us boys. So she was one of the first ones uh, who had us for the Rotary Club in Johannesburg. And with Grace, uh, I love to tell a little secret Grace was at the Hamburg Convention uh, 2019 and missed the buses. Well, what happened? Grace was the smartest Rotarian of these 40,000 from all over the world at the World Convention. Through Airbnb, she had a social worker who was working at the best place in Europe in the red light district in Hamburg. So she got to know the most famous people like Olivia Jones. And uh, Grace, just uh, the day before yesterday, Olivia was again with her latest book, her biography, um, on the most famous German talk show. And this is a drag queen. And uh, Grace had the pleasure to party. So our party in Flensburg was not in competition successfully for Grace uh, at the red light district of Hamburg. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's still any question? You're already 47, you know, our numbers swell to the end. I'm, uh, I'm really glad to see that. Um, Maybe just a remark. I'm a historian from Northern Germany, Flensburg, with a love affair. Um, with America since uh, high school days. And um, who would have thought of all of us outside of America and in a college town like Northfield, Minnesota, what happened on January 6th? How fragile one of yeah. the oldest and most solid and very most successful democracies. And that's why suddenly uh, our peace pipe letters and our presentation and how Mussolini in 1922 said he is marching to Rome. Well, guess who didn't march? Uh, only his um, wild uh, fascists uh, walked from Milano to Rome. So um, when you think about how a populist like Mussolini, who was the role model for Hitler and suddenly we saw some months ago the same con concept in Washington, D.C. Uh, if I would have told you that on January 5th, you would have said, Yogi, don't take uh, so much LSD and reduce your opium and whatever illegal uh, drug consumption. Mm. And suddenly it was reality. And that is what uh, we feel that we as Rotarians, uh, we should not be political uh, parties and bipartisan and all that uh, uh, bourgeois stuff. But when it comes to the big picture of Rotary and our values, uh, free travel and uh, free speech and, 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 I think um, we all uh, should meet uh, for the next progressive party at our Rotary work conference and make sure that we Rotarians are really strong and in support of the values of Rotary and that nothing similar to 1933, uh, Rotary clubs in Germany and then Austria, Italy and all over will ever happen again. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Yogi. I will just pop in uh, because uh, we have a, one more special guest which popped up a little bit late. We have a past district governor of Serbia, Pan Erangelovic, and I am really glad he made it. Maybe a few words, Bane. Good evening, just a few words. Uh, many regards from Rotarians from Serbia. Excuse me for my late uh, connection. Uh, US ambassador was our guest uh, this evening, so I have to be there. And I'm really sad because I was not at the beginning to hear the, the, the beginning of the story. But okay, you will inform me when we meet uh, in person. Many regards from Serbia to all of you. Hvala, Bane. Hvala, Bane. I, I think we have, we have some raised hands for the questions, I believe. Uh, Rizwana, I think I think one. Vladimir, Rizwana first, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to, to thank Yogi. Uh, he, he answered my question before it was asked. So uh, actually, uh, I, I wanted to, to point that uh, Rotarians on one hand need to protect real, uh, real values. Uh, on the other side, we shouldn't uh, speak about politics. And uh, thank you, Yogi, you, you just uh, answered my question. Great, Vladimir. I see uh, Riza Vana, charming Rotarian firm from India. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, I, would, uh, I would like to I, uh, invite all of you all, just like to add a little uh, note on the whole thing that uh, I'm very privileged to be part of this peace pipe reunion that you're having today. Um, I would say I have been discussing about it since last uh, two, three months with the Madras Club that uh, I want to have a reunion of all the peace pipe clubs and I've collected the data for the 153 clubs at present. I do not have the whole 201 list and uh, I have been in discussions with the Rotary Action Group uh, uh, the RI Rotary Action Group for Peace uh, chairman. Uh, she is uh, Rotarian Allison and she is the district uh, governor at present of Wales. She is a member of the Cardiff Club also, Cardiff Club. And uh, we have discussed it last week also that I would want a reunion of all the Peace Pipe Clubs and we will be sending an official invitation to all of you all for it in say on 6th of June, that will be around 4.30 London time. We will be sending an official invitation to all of you for this reunion, along with uh, having more clubs added in this peace initiative, Global Peace Conference. So informally, I would say I'm just inviting all y'all for it and a formal invitation will surely, surely reach y'all. I would request uh, President to help me out with the rest of the clubs that I do not have. Thank the you. List thank, you thank you. We follow you blindly, Rizwana. That's a great <laughs> invite. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like once you think of something and then the uh, just God gives it all in your hands. And I'm so happy to be here with all of y'all. I've been thinking of uh, making a reunion for y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Rizwana. Thank you. Would be really, would be really nice to it's a great, great idea. Uh, just to keep this this rotary spirit alive and kicking. President uh, Monko, if I may say something please. in response to Rizwana. Um, Rizwana, I'm also on the um, Rotary Action Group for Peace with, with DG Allison. And um, the Rotary Club of Johannesburg has also become the first peace uh, builder club in Southern Africa. And I think the peace pipe clubs should all become peace builder clubs. And um, I think the reunion with um, all the peace pipe letters and taking on the Institute of Economics and Peace with the eight pillars of positive peace and how we as Rotarians, everything we do promotes positive peace. Um, I think Yogi and Tony, your platform <coughs> letters can do so much to convince Rotary Clubs to become peace builder clubs, even if they weren't part of the peace pipe letters. Thank you, Grace. Thank you. 
Thank you, Grace. Yeah. You are the best. Yeah. <laughs> According to Grandma. <laughs> Do you see any other hand raised? It was uh, a, such a go good and uh, extensive lecture. It's really left a uh, Thank you all again for this beautiful presentation. I'm proud of the party and more. And especially in our club, thanks to Eddie who got back out all the historic stuff and we felt this connection with our colleagues <coughs> before the Second World War. It really makes us to, to, to connect to the line, to, to be part of a much, much bigger <coughs> idea of the way of living. Uh, th thank you all again. To, to host you here tonight in such a big number. Um, and I wish you all oh. meet in, in, uh, we could meet in, uh, in different occasions, not just uh, on the one person. Thank you again. And I will say goodbye to all. Wish you. Goodbye.